Hi everybody and welcome to Positively Kimmy. I am Kimmy. If you're new here, welcome. This is a safe space. And if you're one of my returning subscribers and my besties. Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're all having an amazing day. I'm feeling a little bit better right now. I just took a crap load of Benadryl um, and my voice goes in and out. And I feel like I'm sucking on razor blades because I have a very bad sore throat. And I did go to the hospital that day and I have a partially collapsed lower lobe in my lung and there was nothing they could do for it. They gave me prednisone, they gave me inhalers, they gave me breathing treatments, they gave me prednisone to come home on and that's where we're at right now. So hopefully this will break because I haven't been able to see my mom since she's been in the hospital except for the first day when I took her there. So hopefully <laughs> um, things will start getting better. I'm just ingested and I hate the way I feel but it doesn't last all day I just took some Tylenol also so if you see my eyes getting squinty and watery it's because that's how I feel uh thank you for your kind words and telling me you hope I get better soon I really truly appreciate it today I'm going to I already put my primer actually I didn't put my primer on I'm trying this primer that I've been trying from Dominique's Dominique Cosmetics and it's a blur and moisture serum primer. I have used it. Um, I'm not crazy about it. Like when I go to put it on, it feels nice. It feels moisturizing. I don't know what's in it. Um, but for some reason when it dries, I'm not a fan of the way my skin feels like it doesn't feel hydrated it feels very dry afterwards but i'm going to try it anyway because i want to i'm not one of those people that's not going to use something i will find a use for it and i will use it until it's at least three quarters of the way down because i want to make sure that i'm not being wasteful you know i spend money on these products and sometimes they're a hit sometimes they're a miss sometimes they come in boxes and stuff subscription boxes and that's this one came in on um and i saw a moisturizer and i thought okay like moisturizing serum primer and i thought okay it's gonna make my skin feel amazing so far that hasn't happened <clears throat> now what i'm gonna do <laughs> why am i always dropping something like what is that about is put on the dose of colors uh foundation and it's called meet your hue and i got it in shade 116 which is a light medium i'm just gonna swatch it on my skin so you could see like the color is definitely off, um, but I am gonna try it and we're gonna see how it looks and if I can salvage anything from this look. And we're gonna just see because you know, it's not always about does the color, does the shade match because you can always do things to either lighten or darken a shade. So you make what you have work and I am as yellow as my shirt right now and I don't that but like I said I can always put powder on to lighten it I can put concealer on to lighten it um it's just not one of my favorite things at the moment but I want to see how the coverage is and that's what I'm testing at the moment and it's my first time using it on my face so wow we have <laughs> lines of demarcation all over the place I feel like I'm 16 and back in high school and to use CoverGirl and CoverGirl at the time had Noxzema in it so it had this very strong clean scent and it was a nice scent I didn't mind it but I always had like a line of demarcation where my mom was like you have to blend that into your neck and I'm like my it is blended and I'd go to school and I'd have like orange because it would oxidize on me so badly so CoverGirl is not like one of those ones that I will keep trying because even though they'd have different formulas now and they don't have the one, I don't know if they still make the one with Noxzema or not. Um, we'll see. I, I, I just can't use it in good consciousness because it's not something I'm a fan of. So looking in my mirror, let me get my trusty dusty handy mirror over here. Looking in my mirror, it is definitely not the color for me. Maybe if I was a little bit more tan, um, it's definitely not as full coverage as I normally like, but it's not bad. So I'm going to try building it up. I'm going to put on another layer and I'm going to use a different kabuki brush for that. And we're just going to put this right on the kabuki 
and we're gonna put it where we need the extra coverage. So I definitely need down here, my chin always, always, that's the first place, my nose and my chin, that you can really see whether a foundation is working on me or not. Um, if it doesn't, if it stays on, awesome. But when you eat, for some reason, I get lipstick all over my chin and then nothing needs to be working after that. It just, you know, the foundation is going from down there and whatever. So, let's see. I just lost half my eyebrow when I did that. I plucked my eyebrows the other day. I do this between 3 and 4 in the morning when I can't sleep. Don't know why I do that because obviously it does not come out <laughs> um, in a good in a good way. So I just did my eyebrows to so this product on this and we're just gonna attach that. Let's see. Go over this one a little at the end. And now we have better looking eyebrows. Let's just do that right there. All right, so what do you guys think of the color? I'm gonna get up close and personal and see if it's really that bad of a shade match. Uh, yeah, you can see the line of demarcation, even though I did blend it out. Um, you can't see my rosacea, which I absolutely love. At least I don't see the redness coming through. I don't know if it's the weird formula of the primer or if this is a, an odd formula for me, but it feels very drying on my skin. Um, so we're just going to chalk that up to I should have used a primer that I'm used to, and we're gonna keep blending this into the neck and into the ears. You know, so we don't look all cray cray and go down on the neck. And this is just a foundation review, so I'm gonna do my face off camera, but I can lighten it up a little. I can put concealer on, and that's what I'm gonna try and do. So let me get my stuff together and do the rest of my and when I come back, let me know what you think of the foundation. I'm not done with the full face yet. I just put on some contour and a little bit of bronzer. And I think it's matching a lot better. Um, let me know what you think. I'm going to put on some blush and some mascara. And we're going to see what you think of the foundation. Okay, so I'm not doing much with my eyes. I just have on some mascara. Um, I put some blush on, I have some contour on, and I have lipstick on. What do you guys think of the foundation? I'm going to bring it up real close and personal. What do you think about in here? Do you think the tone is too yellow for me? Because I do like the way it looks, but I think it's also a little bit dry looking. Um, and I have a glass spray by Maybelline. Um, this is the glass spray setting spray. So let's put that on and see if it helps melt everything in. And cool. It has a weird taste to it. It got in my mouth, <laughs> uh, which is an unusual. All I do is talk. Um, so let me know what you think. Let me know if you think this is something I could get away with. I think I can get away with it. I don't know that I want to try so hard when I have a foundation I already love. Let me know if you use it. Let me know if you're the same like skin type as I am. And if you're like a light, like very dark light to a very light medium. Um, if you've tried this, I like, I, it's, a, it's a first impressions. I'm not sure how I feel about it just yet. Um, and this setting spray was way too much. My face is like drenched right now. So with that, be happy, be healthy, be blessed, and most of all, be positively you because there's no one else quite like you and that makes me so incredibly happy. And if I had more energy, I promise you, I would have done a full face and I would have the lashes on and everything. But in the meantime, um, just let me know your thoughts and comments below about the foundation and what you think of the color. Can I get away with this color or not? Or do I have to be a little bit more tan in the summer? Um, let me know. I hope you all are enjoying your weekend and have a happy and very safe 4th of July and don't overeat, <laughs> okay? I know I'm going to, but don't you do it because I'll do it for all of us. Bye guys, love you.